everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, hello. Today, I'm going to show you how I apply these full-on tips um, on yourself at home. Um, if this has been published and we're still in lockdown, then these are really, really good um, for you to do yourself at home. However, I will, I mean, some of them, well, okay. These are the original um, Apray ones um, and they are good. However, to get the whole kit and everything like that, um, it's not just a nails, you have to buy the whole kit. Um, it is expensive for home users. You can, however, buy these Magpie ones, um, but they don't do as many sizes. So these ones I find are a bit too long for my personal nails. If you look, for example, they're really, because I've got really tiny nail beds, that's quite long for me. I found that quite long for me, and it might be for you as well. Um, so, my preference is the Gel X because they have a lot more sizes and a lot more shapes. However, these are more budget friendly and you can also get some from AliExpress if you're happy to wait um, 20 to 60 days, I think it is. And these are quite um, good as well, actually. I mean, they're a very good dupe um, and I've tested them myself and worn them myself and they are very good. Um, and they do, but again, these are too long for me. So although these are good and you can chop them down and do it that way if you want, um, obviously it takes more time to do a set like that if you've got to chop them down and, and um, you know, reshape them and stuff. But um, yeah, so it, it's, it's preference really. I like these for quickness and these are for um, mediocre price and these happy to wait are super cheap. So we are going to be doing today the Apray. Um, just because they've got the stiletto short um, and I like stiletto. I also like the round, so we're going to be applying those. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Apre stiletto short today. Um, I have already, I already know which ones I've got, so I've put that there. So I've put that there so I know which ones are mine. Also, I like to pre-buff mine, so they come like this. And I like to save time, especially when I've got my clients that want to come in and out, I pre-buff them on the underside. Okay, so it's quick and easy. Um, so that's the first thing you should do is size up your customer or yourself, um, put them all to one side. And then um, what I tend, if you, um, you can use, if you've not got a electric file, you can use a hand file, but it's really tricky. So, you know, you go in there and, and give that a good scrub. I think you can get some round files um, I don't have any to show you here, but you can get like a rounder or thinner file to get right into the, those grooves and do that. So you could do that if you wanted. Um, but otherwise, I tend to use my electric file, which is my Melody Susie. And I just use a bit like this. And I just, let me do one with you. What size is that one? So I've got it on 10,000 RPM. And I just take it like this. Hold it, it's difficult to hit to hold it. Anchor your finger and just kind of X the inside. This one's not working very well actually. Probably needs a bigger bit. But just make sure that you etch it all before you apply it, whether it's on yourself or whether it's on a client. Okay, and that's because that if you don't, then you're, they're going to pop off in a few days because gel likes to stick or won't stick to a shiny surface. I think nowadays you can buy ones, I think, I don't even know whether a prey can with them already brushed. I know some companies do. I can't remember the names of them now. Some companies do come with them already etched. So make sure you get right in those edges. Like that. And then remove the excess dust. So then that's ready to go. So you need to do that on all of your other tips. Um, and then once you've got them all ready, pop them onto the one side. Okay, so I've got all mine ready now. Um, I have already prepped my nails. Um, you want, if you want to see about prepping, you can learn about that in one of my other videos. Um, I have covered that. So um, once the nails are prepped, um, sorry, I've just showed you that. I do use this. I use it all the time. But before we get to that, a prey have their own. Um, so that's step one is the dehydrator and bonder. So you put that on your nail first. And then step two 
would be the primer. So obviously if you're new to this um, or you're doing it from home, I would highly suggest that you follow the instructions that you get in the pack of the Gel X because use these and then you can't go far wrong. Um, but obviously the trial and error um, and speaking to lots of the nail techs, I use this. Um, I use it for everything. So I am just going to pop that on my natural nails. smells lovely as well this one it's a bit minty and a bit vanilla -y. it's a bit like a, a mixture between vanilla and mint sometimes these primers can really stink like um, cheesy feet I think okay so let that dry until it's not shiny anymore with this and then you can go to the next step okay so that's my nails already there and I like to put them in size order especially when I'm doing them with clients so I can quickly pick them up I know which one it is and I know which one's gonna be going on what um, now, depending on which system you use, you need to get your um, gel. In this case, it's the Afray Extend Gel. So, um, we're going to apply that now. Right, so I'm just going to pop these out of the way. Um, and I'm going to get my gel. And this is just a gel brush that I use. Um, it's just a normal oval gel brush. And you're going to need a flashlight if you're going to do it on yourself. They do give you a little light that comes with it, but I prefer to use this. Um, yeah, so it's just like a little LED and you just... And I pop that in my mouth when I'm doing it on myself because it's just easier. So, first of all, I'm going to take a little dip. And then I'm going to put just like um, a slip layer on the nail first. Just push that into the natural nail, make sure that that's pushed in. So push that into the natural nail. Now I'm going to take the tip um, and then again, push it into the tip to get into all those grooves. Okay, push it right in. And then when you're happy, Get a bead of the gel and pop it on an area of the cuticle area like that and then I'm just going to push that out the way. I've got my little lamp ready. Now this is going to go in my mouth so you're not going to see this. I literally, let's pop that over there to get comfortable, um, push it from the cuticle, make sure you leave a tiny gap and push it down like that and then I use my mouth. Which I'm going to do now, so it's a bit closer. Push out those air bubbles, that's why I'm talking like this. Okay? And you can get rid of these squidgy bits, sorry, I keep putting it in my mouth. And then once you've got it in place, really hard to do on camera <laughs> once you've got it in place you can then play around and get rid of any squidgy bits from the side and yeah just generally clean it up and then that's that one done okay so we can move on to the next one too much I put too much on last time as you go through you get to know um, how curved your clients nails are and how much they're going to need depending on how big the nail beds are I use too much normally I know how to just put it on myself but obviously doing it on camera completely distorts it so um, I'm gonna put this in my mouth again so I'm gonna talk funny So, you 
can see a little bit of gel seepage there at the end. That's quite normal with this system. Um, as you, I mean, you can go down there with a little tiny file if you have an electric file and drill that out if you want, but I don't tend to do that until I do an infill. Okay, so on to the next one. dip it back in at this point because you've probably got access on your brush that you can just pop in there. Grab a bead, pop it in like that and then I'm gonna put it back in my mouth again. I'm sorry if I keep going out of shot, it's because I have to pull the finger close to me so that I can get the lamp on it. So, I mean, that excess there that I forgot to take off, look, because it was curing, will file off. I'll try and get it off if I can. There we go. Because it's still a little bit um, soft. grooves again with your tip and then grabbing your bead of gel being tricky sorry if you can hear squealing in the background the uh, kids are playing with the kitten hopefully they don't scroll too much while I do the video right, I'm going to pop this lamp thing in my mouth again You can see you can see that it's hard for me to try and look to see if it's on the camera at the same time as I've got the damn thing in my mouth. So pretty happy with that. Move on to the next one. And then once they're all nicely applied like that, then you pop them in the lamp for, um, I think it's 30 seconds, but I like to do 60 just in case. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so it's come out of the lamp now and it's a little bit sticky. So I just like to use, let's zoom out a little bit, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and give them a wipe. Because they are sticky. And then they've got these little call them little noggins on the end so I just like to file those off like that make them all nice and smooth and then you need to go ahead if you don't want to blend them at this point what we what I like to do is I like to blend um, this area here so that there's no ridges and no bumps and lumps as it grows out you don't have to 
um, but I just find that it neatens up the application and it makes the um, nails um, look a lot nicer. So if you don't have an electric file like me, you can just use, this one looks a bit battered because I'm using it in, my, in any of my videos and not on a client, obviously. And um, this is actually a 180 grit, so that's all you really need for this particular, um, for gels anyway. So you just go in and literally just um, buff around. Um, let me show you with this thumb. So we're gonna buff around the cuticle and blend it in without catching the skin too much. Okay, and then if you're not happy with the shape like this bit here, you can pull that in if you want to. I like to pull that in because these are a little bit on the thumbs. This one's not too bad actually on these ones, but the thumbs are a little bit claw-like. I don't know whether you can see, Let me try it this angle. There you go, look, they're a little bit claw-like on the thumbs, so I like to pull that in. Um, on these are prey ones. These ones are flat, I don't know why they've got it on the thumbs, but they have. So I do like to file that bit, make that pull it in, and it's actually slightly bigger than match one out anyway. Um, and then we go in and blend all this around here. And then um, just give the whole nail a buff. And the reason for that is because when you come to do your um, nail polish application, if it's gel, obviously it's not gonna stick, so. You could, if you wanted to, give it a wipe with acetone instead to make it a bit stickier. I just prefer to do this because I'm already doing it anyway. I've already got the file out, so I may as well carry on. Um, so that's the way I like to do it. And then that's pretty much, which have got all that edges in there. Ready to go, I think, this one. These are slightly too long for me, although I do love the shape, so I'm probably gonna just pull them in a little bit. Um, but you don't need to do that. If you wanted to do that, you could. I just wanted to show you how to apply them rather than, you know, this isn't to do with shaping or anything like that. So you can see that this is close to the cuticle now. And it's all nicely blended. Um, and you would go ahead and do that on all of the nails. Um, I don't think there's any point in me showing you all of them. I've shown you this one now you're just going to be bored so yeah I would then go ahead and grab a wipe and some alcohol I would get rid of all that dust and uh, clean the nail and then can you see that that's that nail ready to go and then they will all look the same and they're ready for application. It's quite a nice nail, you can see. It's ready to go, apart from that bit blended there, actually. Add that bit more. But yeah, you know, you can keep going, and blending until you're happy. That's it, that's blended now. So that's ready to go. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this video. It was really quick. Obviously, I've only shown you one hand. I'm gonna do my other hand and finish these off now. Um, I... Um, I'm not going to film me painting them as well because I just wanted to show you how to apply these full-on tips. So whether, like I said, whether they're a prey, whether they're magpie, whether they're email couture, I think that's another one. There's lots of companies out there that do them um, and they are really easy to apply. So um, yeah, let me go, let me know down below what you thought of this and what you want to see in the future. And if you haven't already, and if you're new here, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.